Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona de Chichi, and welcome to this completely spoiler-free, spoiler-free reaction to Endwalker. And as I sit and think of all the great moments that Endwalker had, I thought I should take a moment and share with you a little bit about myself and my professional career, because it should give a little bit more weight to what I'm about to say about Endwalker. I work in Hollywood as a professional editor. And you've probably seen some of the TV shows that I've worked on in my career. I'll throw a link to my IMDb page below and the studio that I currently work for if you want to see some of the projects I work on. And I'm really, like, I don't want to advertise that or, or showcase that. But in saying that, for the past 15 years, I've made an entire living and career on how to tell a great story. And let me tell you this. Endwalker tells a fantastic story. It has all those big reveals and moments that you would get out of a Hollywood film. The world building is amazing. The characters have depth and conflict. There's a sense of stakes, which means that we better clear this dungeon or trial or else it's all going to be pretty bad. There are funny moments. There are wholesome moments. There are sassy moments. There's a reason and logic to what the characters do and why they do it. You know, there's so much, like, the world itself aesthetically uh, is uh, amazing and it complements to the lore and the story and the, um, and the entire world building. Even the new jobs have their shining moments. And every past expansion has their stories play into Endwalker's current one. And best of all, you play the hero. And I can't say enough good things about Endwalker. Maybe I'm biased because I've been playing this silly game for about eight years now, but what I can tell you is that I had a good time, and I know you will too. Think about it this way. For me, it's been a long time since I've experienced the stories for each expansion, and it's been two and a half years alone since I've experienced the, sh uh, the, the Shadowbringers uh, story, and I remember all those characters. I remember those moments. I remember what job I was on when, like, this cutscene played and, you know, and you talked with this character and so on and so forth. Like, all of those memories, like, came together in this sort of Avengers moment for Final Fantasy. And, yeah, I'm just going to be remembering this for the rest of my life. It's, it, it, is, it is quite an amazing tale. And as I progress through... I began leaning into that style of conversation wordplay, you know, like how you get so involved into the world and, you know, thou hast learneth thine the way speaks. Thanks, Yurianje. Um, of course, I'm probably completely ruining the pronunciations, as I always have before on some of my other videos. Um, goals, jails, sorry, if you know what I'm talking about. But when it comes down to it, you're going to be so deeply involved and connected with the characters, the world, the problems that... It, it, it just goes to show how well the storytelling is. You know, one of the things done in classic storytelling is making your heroes seem small uh, in the sense of the, the stakes are just so large uh, and making your villains so big and overwhelmingly like, oh my God, like how are our heroes going to sort of overcome uh, uh, this one? <clears throat> and... Uh, Hell, it's been a, a week and a half, and I, you know, well, not a week and a half, or it's been about a week, and I'm still getting choked up, like, talking about it and, like, having all the memories of of those moments that happen, like, throughout the story of being like, oh, I was there, and there, this was this, and that little guy was like, you know, oh, man, he's so full of sass, oh, that's so hilarious, and, like, going through the trials and the dungeons and how it all plays together, it, it's just, you know, it, it's amazing, and, and in saying that, it's like the villain's you know, the heroes and the villains, like, everybody's complex. You understand why they do the things they do. You understand what drives them. You understand the dynamics and the relationship. And, and everybody has their moment to shine. And it's not black and white. It's all gray. And, and that's what makes a compelling and engaging story is when two moments of conflict and multiple moments of conflict in a story is complicated and both sides have their reasons. Both sides are right from their perspective. And when that conflict comes together at the end, the payoff is just simply amazing. And to sum it all up, like art is a reflection of life. We tell stories to express life and all the wonders and hardships and problems and miracles 
the experiences you have, the families that you love, and I just knocked something off of my thing. I think it was like a plastic like cup or whatever. And everything else underneath the sun, like those little moments, like even like knocking off that like cup, you know, because my arms are like flailing around, like, you know, la, 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 like wacky arm, inflatable arm man. And N. Walker is a reflection of life. Like you can go in and you can pick out like the stories, you can pick out like all the moments where you're like, oh yeah, like this part, like, you know, I they kind of got it from this movie or this idea was inspired by you know, this this uh, this TV show or, or this other video game. And there are a lot of real-world parallels that we can draw from, uh, especially with some of the dungeons and some of the, uh, the storylines. It's like, yes, those things happen in real life. Yes, those are problems. And yes, we need to find a way on how to solve that, you know, as a, as a, as a people, as a human race. And, um, you know, in the sense, like, its message is a solid message that we should all sort of um, embrace. And from that message, it's like, you know, when the, going gets, when the going gets you down, it's like, make some friends and pick yourself back up and keep moving forward. Because, you know, we're, it's not the end. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. And so... I sort of leave this with you as a spoiler, you know, as, as spoiler free, as in like, do, do yourself a favor and you're, you probably already played it and you know, you're all of this, but if you, if you haven't and you happen to come across this video and you watched all the way to the very end, just do yourself a favor, throw down 60 bucks, pick up this game and, and if anything, just play through the main scenario quest and, and enjoy the story for what it is. Because you will enjoy it, it will stick with you, and you're going to be entertained. Endwalker's story is an amazing conclusion for a game that has been part of my life for the past eight years. And if you've already experienced the story, I hope you found it just as amazing and awesome and awe-inspiring as I did. And it's not the end. We'll get a new storyline that I am really looking forward to in the years to come. So until next time, I hope you have a chance to experience this story, Endwalker and Final Fantasy XIV thus far. It's not over. And I say to you, keep on adventuring. <laughs>